June. June 8th, I think. Just fucking ridiculous. Okay, well, you can see Sex Bee's Kitchen is getting organized, and this is going to be our first new show. Yesterday, my neighbors, whom I love very much, got ready to move, and they had extra food in their refrigerator, and they asked me if I wanted to have the food, and of course, I'm like, I will, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be before... This gets back to normal, according to Show Me. It's never going to get back to normal, and that's fine. But I wanted to start doing some preparation, preservation, kind of prepping tips on what we do. Let me flip this around. I just woke up. <laughs> don't even have my glasses on yet. But I wanted to do some tips on how we start prepping for a cataclysmic event. And so it might happen where we don't have any electricity. That happens, you know. So when the Hurricane Iniki hit the island of Kauai, we didn't have electricity for months like six months. And what what happened was, ah, I look tired because I am tired. What happened was the island hit right over Kauai. And for three days, Joanne Yukimura would not allow anyone to come on the island. She was so wonderful. She just said that the people of Kauai need to have time to deal with what was going on. They needed to be able to just be at peace inside of themselves for days before the army came on. It was a good move because when the army came on, the first thing the army did was cut all the freaking poles in half, dumbasses. Yep, went straight down the roads, chainsawed all of the electric poles and pushed them off the side to make a path so they could get around the island. And uh, newsflash, it's an island, babe. If you don't have it there, you have to ship it there to get it there. So we were without electricity for six freaking months. It was really crazy. But... I learned a lot of skills, <laughs> I did. And one of the skills that I learned was how to preserve your food. So we're gonna do a little exercise here at the Sexy Beast Catering Kitchen about how to preserve your food. So I got up this morning and the first preservation thing that I did, <laughs> because guess what? I do drink coffee. I love coffee. And coffee gets grown on Kauai now. It's the best coffee ever. But what I did was, um, here's what happened. They gave me some meat. And the meat they gave me was frozen. So it's been out on the counter. It's been defrosting. I know everybody's going to be like, oh, it's meat. Uh -uh. You know, oh, there's my glasses. It doesn't matter, okay? When you're starving, you're going to eat. You're going to eat whatever you possibly can. So I took that chicken breast and I put it into a big pan. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get water. I'll clean this up later. But I'm going to get water, and we're going to put water in here, and uh, thankfully the water is still on, and uh, in Kauai, I could have walked to the beach and grabbed some of that beautiful, clean salt water, and that would have been perfect, <laughs> you know? It ended up 
that what we ended up having to do in Hawaii, besides cooking all of our food, that's the first thing we did. We cooked everything because on day one, you don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, we got hit by a hurricane. Okay. Um, the electricity will come on in a little while, but it doesn't matter. We did not know. We had no idea that the electricity was going to be off for six months. So the first thing you do in an emergency situation like that, if you have power, cool. We have power right now. We're going to boil the chicken. Um, in Kauai, we did not have power. We started fires. We started barbecuing everything. We just started putting everything away. And uh, what we're going to do here now, because we do have electricity, is we're going to take this meat and we're going to cook it. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to set it aside because cooked meat doesn't spoil as fast as raw meat does. And so, and even um, cooked, you know, I could invite all my friends over and we could have something to eat. So that's lesson number one in an emergency situation, cook all your food. This is Heather with Texas Microfarms, and I am out.